in the context of ALM. So the first question that comes into our mind is what is ALM? So defining application lifecycle management or popularly known as ALM isn't easy. It's common to equate ALM with SDLC, but it is much more than just SDLC. In fact, it includes the entire time you in which an organization is spending money on this asset from the initial idea to the end of the application's life. Uh, as illustrated in the picture, ALM can be divided into three distinct areas, governance, development and operations, uh, showing each of these in its own horizontal line. Uh, now an application's life cycle begins with an idea. Once it is created, the next big event is deployment. Then the application goes into production and finally when it is no longer at business value, the application reaches end of life and is removed from service. Now these three aspects of ALM, that's the governance, development and operations are tightly connected to one another. Every organization wants to do all these three aspects well, but it's not easy. The selection of right tools makes it easier. These tools should be not only be integrated horizontally, but vertically as well. For example, the project management tool should be connected to the development tools, which in turn should have connections to tools used for operations. <coughs> so, what are the challenges that we face in the ALM scenario? Firstly, the disparate tools that are used in an organization for different artifacts. So when you are using disparate, non-integrated tools in organization, it leads to several challenges in terms of data visibility, traceability, process automation, and cross-tool reporting. Next, uh, if the relations between the artifacts in different tools are not maintained across the life cycle stages, it may lead to process inefficiency, repeated manual tasks, unwanted human errors, productivity loss, and finally, delivery delays. Thirdly, the changes in one artifact do not get reflected automatically in other tools being used by other stakeholders. So while working with disjoint tools that are not integrated to one another, the changes made to one artifact in one tool doesn't get automatically reflected to other tools that are being used by the different stakeholders in the organization. So this is a big, big challenge. Uh, fourthly, there is no aggregation and consolidated reporting from different artifacts or in different tools. So generating consolidated reports, performance metrics across the two artifacts is not possible if the tools are not integrated and the artifacts managed in each of these tools are not synchronized. And finally, no collaboration Groups working in isolation, uh, problems detected in later life cycle have expensive impact. So here what's meant is that when teams are working in isolation often end up uh, producing faulty results and these are detected much later in the development stage. Now, these costly last minute surprises can have really extensive impact on the different ACLs that are being calculated by the organization. So, discussing about the challenges